Two years ago, I bought a pair of Genelec the ones. Hi. And I said that. So uh, I'm going to come back to you with my uh, opinions or maybe a review on this. So here's my review. So you're searching for information about what studio monitors to invest in next, and you started considering Genelex. If you want to know the pros and cons of choosing Genelex, particularly Genelex the One series, in this video you'll find out exactly that. Here's where I'm going to show you my honest review about Genelex 8341s, but also about the 7360A subwoofer. But first, if you want to improve your mixes and masters in the next 10 minutes, go to this link which should appear on your screen now and you should also find it in the description below. Then get your mixing and mastering cheat sheet. And as a bonus I'll send you my report on how to start your audio business this year the right way. Again, before we dive into this video, I want to tell you that what you are about to learn is only my honest opinion and no one paid me to make this review. When I was searching what monitors to invest in, these kinds of reviews helped me decide. So today I pay it forward for other audio producers. I also made this review because lots of audio producers ask my opinion about this monitoring system. So let's do this. To give you a little background, at the moment of recording this video, I worked with the Genelex The Ones for more than two years, and more than one year with the sub. And today, I decided to make a review after working with them by making a list of pros and cons. So, when I started my journey of finding the right monitors for mixing and mastering needs, I had two main issues to deal with. My home studio room, which is far from perfect, and my budget. For a couple of months, I was searching for information about the best audio monitors on the market, especially for mastering. Got lots of reviews about Barefoot, PMC, Key, and of course Genelex. And right about that time, I learned about the Genelec new series called The Ones. To give you another background information, my first ever contact with studio monitors was with a pair of Genelex, and I was really impressed with them. Then I listened to another pair and frankly, they were not to my taste. I'm telling you this because this was the reason why I hesitated for some time to go with the Genelex, but the three-way build of their The One series got me interested. So to recap and getting back to my main studio issues, what I needed was a pair of the most accurate monitors which will adapt to my room and all this at an affordable price. In essence, I wanted a high-end monitoring system that would sound the best it can in my home studio. As I consider this as a long-term investment, I also wanted to have a system that will help me to have the same listening environment in case I would move to another place, room or apartment. After lots of research, I went with the Genelex 8341A and the Genelex GLM calibration kit. And here's the list of the pros regarding Genelec 8341As. Pro number 1. These monitors sound amazing, but only if calibrated. This is why my number one advice is the following. If you go with Genelex, no matter the series, buy the Genelec calibration kit also, if they could be used with such a kit of course. This is a must if you want to exploit these monitors at their full potential. To give you more details on their sound, when I connected them with my interface, I used my most expensive cables, so I connected them via analog connections. The first time I played some of my favorite songs on them, frankly, I was not impressed. And if you remember, my home studio room is far from perfect, and this was the main reason for this. So the next move was to calibrate them, which I did very easily. After I calibrated the 8431 Ace and played a song, I remember exactly the song, I played Ashes, uh, that is the Deadpool movie soundtrack. In short, I was blown away. I could hear the sound of every soft breath and so many nuances that I never heard before listening to that song. It was the feeling I was part of that song. I know this may seem an exaggeration for those who never experienced this and also may make some of you who got expensive monitoring systems to be amused. Anyway, I could hear the separation between the vocals, strings and other instruments and it is almost as if I could reach and touch Celine's vocals. Pretty weird I know, but this is the most accurate description I could give you about my first listening experience. Then I tried different masters to listen to and for the first time ever I understood what are audio mastering engineers referring to when they say that a track is sounding tall. I'm not a scientist or anything, but I believe because I never experienced a three-way monitoring system before, 
This was the main reason I was so impressed. So listening to these monitors was the first time ever to experience such detail, stereo image and depth in my audio production journey. Pro number two. This is not about strictly the monitors, but related to them. So for pro number two, Genelec has one of the best customer service I have ever dealt with. When I bought the 8341 Ace, that was my first contact ever with Genelec, and their customer support helped me solve different things. So whenever I had a problem or question, Genelec customer support was there to help me until I was satisfied with using their products. Pro number three, before upgrading to the Genelec the ones, when dealing with depth and separation, especially between tracks, most of the time I used headphones, but these speakers took my game to the next level. Now I can hear exactly if what I'm doing helps me bring separation between tracks, but also to deal better with depth of my mixes or masters. On a side note, these speakers revealed to me that one of my favorite reverbs was the main cause of losing clarity and transparency in my mixes. So you guessed it, I found and used another reverb since then. Pro number four, these monitors are built to last, from aluminum I believe. Pro number five, using these monitors I can mix and master longer without ear fatigue. Frankly, I don't know what's the magic behind this, maybe it's because of the three-way build, but after getting these monitors I could work more on mixing and mastering sessions, and for longer hours, without signs of fatigue. Pro number 6. When I'm working with these monitors I don't have to stay always in my listening position. I can move around to the left, to the right, and still have almost exactly the stereo image like the one from my center listening position, which is great. Pro number 7. It takes me less time now to mix and master. Almost most of the time I need to make fewer reviews, if any. You see, when you're mixing or mastering on these monitors, it's like you're inside the mix. There's the feeling that you could uh, touch the kick or the vocals and work on them further. Since I got them, I finished mixing and mastering sessions a lot faster and more efficiently because I could hear exactly the problems I should take care of and also what I could improve. Pro number 8. With these monitors you could mix and master at a very low volume and short distance. Let me explain. Whether I'm at my listening position, which is about 3-4 feet or uh, 1 meter nowadays, I could mix and master at low volume with no problem. This helping me protect my ears long term. And the clarity and transparency are kept to some extent if I move away from the speakers. Pro number 9. These monitors are not coloring the audio source. Until I got the 8341 Ace, I worked with monitors that were pleasant to listen to. I believe this was one of the main problems in my mixing and mastering journey. I loved how my mixes and masters sounded on those monitors, but when checking them in the real world, I was always coming back to the studio trying to guess what should I do next. Pro number 10. You can calibrate these monitors and adapt them to your listening environment. This was one of the main pros that helped me in my decision of getting a pair of Genelec the ones. As mentioned, I have a very problematic room in my home studio. The room's acoustic response is all over the place. By calibrating the monitors, the audio I'm listening to is as if I would be in a real treated studio. Pro number 11. The 8341s can integrate seamlessly with a subwoofer, a Genelec subwoofer in my case. You see, most of the time we have problematic rooms to begin with, like it is my case, and when we bring a sub into the equation, there the problems start to grow even bigger. Do I add more volume to the sub or do I bring it down? The Genelec GLM calibration kit helps you calibrate your monitors, but it also helps you in calibrating your monitors and the subwoofer so that they could work as one. This brings me to the next point. From 2007, when I created my first Pro Tools session ever, my dream was to have a monitoring system on which I could listen to the 20Hz up to the 20kHz range as accurately as possible. 12 years later, after hard work, I managed to get that. You see, the 8341As are great by themselves. According to Genelec, their frequency response is between 38Hz and 37kHz. And for a year I worked in the low range based on what I was hearing on these monitors. But I knew the range of 20Hz to 38Hz was still missing from my system. That's why I decided to try a subwoofer. Especially as I'm working mostly with pop and EDM mix and masters, where there's a lot going on in the low and sub frequencies. Now, the thing is that for over 12 years in my audio production journey, I didn't use a subwoofer. So before buying the Genelec 7360A, I never used a subwoofer for mixing or mastering. The 8341As have pretty good low information, 
but I felt that it's time to complete my monitoring system. I also believed that when I will have a subwoofer, I would have more bass, more punch and so on. Well, I was wrong. After calibrating the subwoofer and the monitors together, instead I got more accuracy in the low and sub range. By integrating a subwoofer in my monitoring system, I finally got a complete and accurate frequency representation from 19Hz up to 20kHz. Now before I move to Pro number 12, comment down below with your questions related to Genelex or audio production in general, so that I could answer them in future videos. So the Pro number 12 in our list is the following. After using this system for the first time ever, I could hear the 0.5 dB boosts or cuts. You see, whenever I saw audio gurus changing 0.5 dB on their plugins, asking, do you hear the difference? Well, I couldn't. And even in my mixing and mastering sometimes in the past would be difficult to hear that 0.5 dB change. Well, with this Genelex I could hear these small changes, which make my decisions more efficient towards better mixes and masters. Ok, so we got 12 pros so far. What about one more pro, what you say? The pro number 13 is that with the GLM calibration kit you can control and watch the listening levels. This way you protect your ears and keep working for longer. One more. Pro number 14. These are three-way monitors, which bring to your studio and listening environment more accuracy of the stereo image and depth. Ok, the last one. Pro number 15. These monitors have a 2 years warranty plus a 5 years warranty for spare parts if you register them on Genelex website. And I could continue the pros list by mentioning their really good amps and DACs and so on, but we are far from our 12 pros and 2 cons you need to know about this Genelex. So these are my pros when it comes to Genelec 8341A monitors and the 7360A subwoofer. Now what about the cons? This time I have only two cons for you. Con number one. They are pricey. Getting these monitors was a big leap for me, but I knew a necessary one. And if you look at their price, they are not really affordable, even after two years I got them. On the other hand, this could be another pro. They keep their value in case you want to resell them. And for con number two, sometimes I feel that this system is too accurate. Let me explain. Sometimes I want them to color the music more, as most of the studio monitors do. When you listen to these monitors, it's almost like listening to an stance, but at a complete frequency range and at a way higher resolution. But the thing is that this system is a business investment, so I use them for work, and they help me doing a very good job. I still enjoy them for a listening pleasure, but as I said, it would be fun to have a button for coloring music. Now, on a side note, if you ever intend to invest in such a system, I advise you to connect them digitally with your audio interface. You see, when I connected these monitors for the first time using the analog inputs, I used some of my most expensive cables for connecting them with my audio interface. But then I decided to try and connect them digitally via the IAS connection. And that's when the sound I believed to be amazing got to another level of clarity and accuracy. And all this only because of using a $60 IAS snake. Now, looking back at this review, it may seem that these monitors are perfect. Let me assure you that they are not. A lot of audio producers prefer other studio monitors instead of Genelec the ones. But after I got them, I listened to a way more expensive pair of monitors from another company. And that's when I realized that Genelec the ones are perfect for me and my needs. The bottom line is, we are different, we have different tastes and we are evolving. And maybe in a couple of years I'll move to another system, you never know. What I know is that so far I'm pleased with my investment. So there you have the pros and cons of investing in Genelec the ones and Genelec subwoofer. Now it's time for you to get your mixing and mastering cheat sheet and improve your mixes and masters in the next 10 minutes. If you feel I helped you with my review, comment and share and of course help me help you in your audio production journey by subscribing to my channel and let's grow together. Now you have another video popping which you might find interesting so start clicking on it, improve your audio production and you'll be well on your way. Until next time, stay cool and make great music.